In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of setting up an MMC animation event layer, which is really just a blend space layer, but it allows you to play one shots and loops of any Unity animations that are set up for the same rig that you have MMLC configured with. And it's all done configured at edit time, like meaning what animations can play. So it's super efficient at runtime. So first things first, I just have a empty scene, no character. I go to the MMC, MMC configuration wizard and I uh, add it to the scene. Everything just looks normal. Nothing special about this. You just make whatever character you like. And this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to just do this from scratch so that we can see it. So first things first, let's go grab some animations that we want to play. So we'll bring in, go to Mixamo. Um, oh, joyful jump. That's, that just looks super vital. So we're doing that. Um, and you could do this without skin, with skin, doesn't really matter. FBX for Unity. Let's go ahead and download it. I'll probably do one of these with the skin so that we can use the Ybot later. But in any event, so now let's go find, let's do, actually, I'm going to, this is going to be a little bit of a longer one. I'm going to do a throw. Yeah, that's a good one. Download, I'll show you how to do masked animations, avatar masked animations as well. And then I don't know what another good one would be, but we'll do uh, let's see what kind of kicks we got going on here. That seems ridiculous. All right, we'll just do MMA kick. That's fine. Yeah. So I'm downloading these without the skin, FBX for Unity, not touching anything else. Once I've got that done, I'll go ahead and drag them into my Unity project. Now I have these three, so I'll go into rig. I will make them humanoid, create from this model, apply, and then we'll go to animation and just confirm that in fact, well, that is as slow as it gets, isn't it? There we go. So let's go, I always do original, original for my root transform. I don't need any rotation on any of these. I don't need it to do, I'm gonna bake the root motion. So nothing changes as you run it. The MMA kick, I'll just leave him alone, but I'm going to make original. Yeah. And I think I don't want him to rotate at the end of it. Let's take a look at what happens. Yep, that's perfect. All right. So I'm baking the rotation because this isn't a turning animation. It should end up at the exact same orientation as what it started with. Same thing with joyful jump. He's not turning, but whatever it is, root motion, just set it up properly. And you'll have uh, all of these fantastic animations. All right, wonderful. So now we'll go in. We'll go to create, three-peat, MMC animation event layer. And we'll name this one uh, full body. So, and I'm going to go ahead and call it down here. I'm going to call it full body with no, no, with no avatar mask. And then I'll go grab my three animations that I want to pull in. And you can drag them in one at a time or you can do it all at once. I prefer, uh, eh, we'll just do it one at a time. That's fine. Joyful jump, MMA kick, and throw. Well, no, throw is going to actually be a uh, masked animation, so we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, let's just call this joy kick. So you can either use the name of the animation or name it however you like here, and then that's ready to go. So the next thing you do is you go to your player character. If you look at the bottom, you'll see this drag and drop. So it's here. So we now we grab the script, scriptable object for the event layer, drag it in. And what you'll notice is if you go to the hoodie guy model, let's close everything down. You have now have a blend space layer with that layer on it. So now let's add a script to the character. And I do, I never add scripts from there. I'll just go here, create C sharp script. And we'll call this uh, event layer stuff. Cause I'm great at naming things. And once that finishes compiling, I'll drag that onto the character. Now we have event layer stuff, so let's go ahead and... Now that we have this script created, we can add a character. Not going to know what that is, so we will do... Uh, we'll just add it, put it in the three feet name space. That'll just make it easier for us later. And then... We will go ahead and assign that when 
we start up here and then we're essentially just going to fire those animations which if you remember we named them uh, it was a full body and we had joy and kick so let's just go ahead and we'll do this the easy way using input manager and we'll do Q and E I guess um, so then we're going to do character dot play one shot and that's in the full body now you would obviously get a get a hash an in hash for speed if you're going to be calling these um, and then we're going to do joy on Q and you can also specify a whole bunch of other things like a complete callback so it'll let you it'll trigger you to let you know when the animation completes so you can move on to the next thing you can set transitions times and you can avoid any kind of stopping of that blend space by saying false for end of chain which allows you to then add multiple events in succession without having any uh snappy blends in between so it keeps everything real smooth but all we need to do is play joy so and then we'll do the same thing for kick and we are done this should just work so let's go try it out Alright, so when I hit play, first we'll make sure the character runs around. Alright, so we have all the expected stuff. And there's Joy, the Q, and here's Kick. And so that's it.